Welcome to Gardening Through the Seasons. I'm Gary Bachman, horticulture specialist with the Mississippi State University Extension Service, and I'm based at the Coastal Research and Extension Center in Biloxi. With the increased interest in home vegetable gardens, more and more people are growing herbs in the garden. Perennial favorites are sage, oregano, mint, which are typically, we think of growing herbs in the soil, in ground, kind of a traditional setting. But more and more people are also growing herbs in containers, such as this basil. Um, this can be especially hard in Mississippi on the plants themselves because of our high temperatures, high humidities, cause a lot of stress on the plants. They're in a limited root zone, watering is important, but by the end of the summer, the plants start to get a little ratty, such as, the, um, for example, th this basil in a pot. The conventional wisdom as far as how to renovate this plant is to prune it back hard. And typically that, that, that involves, we can just do this in one or two cuts, get, gathering the stems together and coming in with your, with your pruners and, and making, I mean, these are, these are very severe cuts on this plant. We're removing a majority of the, of the stem tissue. And what these hard pruning cuts do it forces these lateral shoots to go ahead and regrow and form new tissue. But one of the prob problems is this takes time and most of us when we're cooking, we want to have our, our herbs available you know, th throughout the season as far as to use in the kitchen. I would like to share a tip with you on how to speed up the rejuvenation of your plant by going ahead and taking and using some of this soft tissue and what we'll want to do is take a softwood cutting using bypass pruners. We'll prune off the, the softer green tissue. We want a cutting that's about two to four, about two to four inches long. Um, we don't want flowers at the end, so we can, we can prune the flowers off. But then we'll also, the leaves that are on the bottom of that cutting, we'll remove the leaves and, and produce our cuttings. Because these are softwood cuttings, we don't have to use any rooting hormones to encourage these to root. Now, one of the questions I get most often is, what kind of, of media do we use? Can we use to root these compounds in, or these um, plants in? And I just suggest any commercial potting mix that has good drainage. And we, we can simply take these cuttings and start, pu start pushing them into the media and I, I, always, I always suggest, just don't do one, do four or five per pot, because as these start to grow, then your pot will fill up quicker. Now that we have our cuttings stuck in the pot, we'll go ahead and we'll water them in, but we have a problem. These cuttings, I'm gonna pull one out just for a second, don't have any roots. And so we have to be able to provide water some way for these plants until the new roots generate. Easiest way is to take a Ziploc bag and we can put this over the pot and what we're doing is creating a little mini greenhouse that, that's, that's going to hold humidity, keep the plants alive until new roots form. We'll take this, put it in bright light but not in direct sunlight and in one to two weeks we'll have um, roots on these new cuttings. This technique is great if you've just got a few cuttings to do. But if you've got a lot of cuttings, there are commercial kits available with multi-cells and the, the um, clear dome that you can create your greenhouse with. If you would like more information on propagating plants around the house and landscape, the types of cuttings, and the use of rooting hormones, please see extension publication, Propagating Plants for the Home Landscape which can be obtained from your local county extension office or downloaded from the Mississippi State University Extension website, msucares.com. I'm Gary Bachman, and thanks for joining me today, Gardening Through the Seasons.